when we graduate from college, we want that dream job. I wanted a job in marketing, so I moved from Virginia to San Francisco in search of that job. However, around that time, the economy crashed. So I quickly had to find a job to make ends meet. So I started working at Stanley Steamer's hot dog stand, which is in downtown San Francisco in Union Square. I thought the job was gonna be easy, but I didn't realize I was gonna learn a lot of life and career lessons from that. You'd think that working at a hot dog stand would be easy, but we easily brought in about $600 average every day on hot dogs, pretzels, and soft drinks. Every morning, we would push out two to three heavy hot dog carts, set up the tents, turn on the propane tanks, and get the food cooking. On top of that, we also had to stand on our feet for several hours at a time, selling hot dogs, talking with customers, and basically just keeping the cart presentable and clean. At the end of every day, then we'd have to push all the carts back into the garage and start it all over again the next day. After about a week or so, I, I got the hang of things, and I really wanted to have to be perfect, to be the perfect best hot dog vendor. But I quickly learned that mistakes happen and that it's best to just stay humble. <laughs> the first mistake I made was pushing the hot dog cart into a curb. That caused for that hot dog cart to be out of commission for a couple weeks as we went ahead and repaired it. The next mistake I made was not setting the cooking temperature at the correct um, temperature when the health inspector came by. They docked us for a few points. We still got a good score, but it was not the perfect score we wanted. But I quickly bounced back from those mistakes. I met a lot of different kinds of people at the hot dog stand, from very colorful homeless characters to people complaining about the price of a bottle of water, which was 150 at that point. I even got clueless tourists who thought that we were information booths, so they'd be like, where is Union Square? Right there. Where's Macy's? Right behind you. <laughs> Where's the cable car? Right down the street. <sighs> and then I also had some customers who thought it'd be cute to practice their Mandarin on me and say ni hao or xie xie ni. And even though I, I met all these kinds of people, I was still nice to them because, you know, I gotta, you got to be nice to people. You never know who you're going to meet. I also made friends with one of the workers at the Double Decker a tour bus, and that friendship actually worked out pretty well because when my sister came to visit that summer, we got two complimentary tickets to take a full city tour. So we sat on the top deck, we, we even went across the Golden Gate Bridge. It was a really good experience, and it wouldn't have happened if I hadn't opened up and made friends with the tour bus workers. However, not everyone was nice to me. There was this guy once who hassled me for quarters for his parking meter. His car was conveniently parked behind my hot dog cart. We were, as a policy, we were not allowed to give out quarters be to non-customers because, well, they're non-customers, and also we only got a certain amount of quarters for each cart. After a while, though, the guy caved and he bought a bottle of water. Ha-ha! <laughs> now you have to give me quarters! So, begrudgingly, I gave him back his change and quarters, and I was pretty mad about it. He went, after that, he left, and he went to go shopping. But I stood over that for a little bit until this came along, the meter maid. He was actually parked illegally in a commercial vehicle parking spot. So, I thought he was just going to get a ticket. But, a tow truck comes next. So the tow truck takes him away, and this is actual picture of the car, uh, the tow truck taking him away. He was a real wiener, so I wasn't, I wasn't didn't feel sorry for him. He came by later, and he's like, "Why didn't you help me? Have you heard of karma?" So you got to take every job seriously because it does matter. I only worked there for nine months at the hot dog stand, but to this day, my boss still remembers me, and he would give me a reference at any time. Obviously, these days, I'm not a hot dog vendor anymore, but you can find out more about me here. And hopefully, Biker Jones is still outside because we should support our local hot dog vendors. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>